great day today today is thursday happy thursday to you i hope that your morning is going well today is going to be a good day for me so today i'm going to do something a little bit different i'm not going to film my entire day today so usually i do let you know what we're doing but i'll just tell you what i'm doing and i'll show you something that we ended up doing with our christmas tree so today greg and i are actually going to go out this morning lauren has the kids and she's actually going to take them to secret santa shopping like we drew names for christmas and then um everybody will like between all the everybody even the ones up in michigan and so then we exchange a 15 dollars gift on christmas eve and so the kids all have their names and in my head i'm like okay i'm like i don't mind going shopping with the kids but when you have to buy for a ton you know there's like four or five of them that gotta manage and get their thing it's a little bit more work <laughs> and so and then they have to buy for a few other things that they're doing on the weekends and so i was like ah, lauren's like that's actually fun for me and i was like really so i'm like do you want to take the kids and so she's like yeah so it's just interesting seeing how like people grow like i remember lauren being a younger she didn't like shopping at all like like jane hates shopping lauren was the same way and she would just dread shopping but now she loves going she likes taking the kids she likes doing that so i'm like do it up go ahead you can do that today so they're actually going to go today and get their secret santa get their little gifts they have to buy for everybody get that part done i'm like that's awesome and greg and i are going to go out this morning and do a little date morning trip so we're going to go pick up his christmas gift which we'll share i won't i'll share it with you at some time so we're going to go pick that up hopefully today get that i want to pick up a few things that are on my list that i didn't get to get that i needed to kind of pick up for different family members things like that so we're going to go and just have a nice little morning probably till early afternoon so i thought if i could finish today's video before everybody even gets up oh, then i won't do any work this afternoon that means a little bit of downtime for me so that is what i'm going to do today so we're going to we have the christmas tree so that's what i'm going to share with you is today's video is going to be how to flock your christmas tree and we're going to decorate it all those good things so i hope you guys enjoy this this was awesome can i tell you anything i regret on it no, nothing I regret. I love the flocking process. Love it, love it, love it. Only thing I would do different is, which it's not a big deal that I didn't, like I threw clumps of snow on it, and I think I talk about that in the video, to make it more like, you know, chunks on there. I would take like a, a better spray bottle or more of like a hose mister, and I would mist the whole tree and let it set. That was the only thing. It's very minimal, the flock that came off. It'll be interesting to see how it stays on, but it was very minimal how much fell off on the ground. I was like, wow, that's not even that bad. So loving the flock tree. Love it, love it, love it. I said, for a person that doesn't like snow, freezing cold or any of that, but I love the flock tree. <laughs> so I'm like, that's okay. So we decorated it. We still have to get a star up on top. Our star, I was like, I think last year something broke on it. So we just wrapped it around or it did. It was more like a stick that would go into something, but our tree doesn't have a hole in the top of our tree. So we have to either wrap it with wire or something. We'll see. I'll let Greg mess with that because that's on the very top. So, and then we have a few more ornaments to use up. And I said, that will get done. And then I'll be able to put my Christmas boxes away. So that's all you're going to get in today's video is blocking the Christmas tree and decorating today. So this was a great year. All the kids wanted to put ornaments on it. Sometimes they're like, eh, eh, not really. But they were all like, yeah, I want to put the ornaments. So I'm like, go ahead. So tons of ornaments kids put on. It was just a fun time. So now Christmas can be official for us. I mean, it doesn't really have to be official for a Christmas tree. You can have no Christmas tree and have it be official, but we got the tree and that was the last thing we wanted to get done. So that's all I'm gonna say. So I hope that you enjoy this video. I'm just gonna roll the whole clips of all the tree and end it with the end of the Christmas tree. So I'm gonna see you guys again tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be um, Gather Your Fragment Friday and we're gonna do some fun, hopefully some DIY gifts. I'm hoping to make some few things and uh, share some stuff with you. So enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow with a food vlog. Gather your fragments. All right, enjoy the clips. See you tomorrow. All right, enjoy. All right, is that what we're doing? All right, so let me come down. Oh wait, yeah, why don't you move that trash can? All right, the moment that I've been waiting for for a long time since I ordered my snow flock, I'm going to flock this Christmas tree. So watch, you gotta tell the girls to turn lights on. Hold on a second. Keep the lights girls are good all right so it's down here i told jada i said hmm which view do we do in the garage and she's like yeah you don't use your interior decorating skills in the garage i'm like nope i don't this was a workshop it's a man garage it's a man garage and a big mess but i think over there's the best view <laughs> so, at this point, yeah. well, we're looking around we're like yeah that, that's good over there so we're gonna flock our christmas tree so i bought this snow flock off of amazon 
and it was it's a two this I got two packages of two pound bags now on the listing it says five pounds so it says it'll make I think our tree is 10 foot tree we're gonna see how it works all you do is take it we're gonna lift this up we're gonna spray it Jaden's gonna help me we're not gonna do any talking unless we you know realize that we need to make a mistake and we fix something but we're gonna spray it mist it with the water and then we're gonna sprinkle the flock on and you just work in sections so we're gonna do it and see how it goes so wish us luck here we go okay all right, there's Ruby. Step one, so you're gonna take the branches, and you're gonna put them the way that you want them to look when your tree is finished. That way when the snow stuff falls, it looks how it's supposed to. All right, here we go. The, um, we got it all pulled out as much as we can. Jane is gonna spray, kinda lift up, the, the dog's gotta go. Spray as much as we can and then I'm gonna shake the snow on there and then she'll spray it again. So it's gonna be a team effort. I think you can do it by yourself, but maybe just put like my trees like in three sections, not a bunch. I'm gonna help you, Jane, here we go. All right, so. All right, the key is, do I like it? I do like it. We're just doing real light because we figure snow mostly falls from the top down, so we'll kind of do lighter on the bottom. And then as we move, next thing you move, honey. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Dog's gonna die. Um, we need to, the snow will fall from the top, so we'll mostly get more on the top. We'll just kind of cover the bottom slightly. All right, so we need to put Maxine inside because she wanted to be by the stuff. So we definitely need a bigger squirt bottle. We just have a smaller one, but it works. I'm using like way less because I want to make sure I have enough. That's Maxine. I know we'll have plenty, but um, we're going to mostly do it like real light like this. And then we'll go over it really good before we put the next section on. So this is awesome. Super excited. Alright, my tree is a big tree and we haven't even used not even a half of a bag yet. So we're gonna go through and spray this really good. Use a bigger spray bottle. And then we're gonna just cover it real good again just before we add the next piece on. No, that's not good. That's good. You wanna touch it because I got gloves, what's it feel like? Like is it hardened? Like the part that we already did? Um, like come over here and feel. Here, yeah. Like what does it feel like? Oh it's like just glue. All right. All right, we're going up to the second layer. You ready, Jaden? Yep. Got this, all right. All right, the flocking is going awesome, like so good. Look at, we're about a third of the container left and we still have, like, we're still doing good. Probably do the whole tree with just the one bag. This is great. I wasn't sure, like, 
if it would come off or you wouldn't be able to move your branches after the flood and said you couldn't move your branches. You can move them, I guess it depends on your tree. Like I can bend these and still separate and it's not gonna come off here, so. Very minimal, like it just, it gets on there hard right away. So mine will still bend, but this is awesome. So even when you throw the snow out and leave like clumps, I love that because it makes it look like real snow. So absolutely love this. Jane's over there spraying her feet with the. That comes off really easily on human skin. Hey, human skin, it wipes off good people. She's doing good. All right, we're gonna keep going. I feel like you need a mister station. I told Jane, I said, I wonder like if the hose, like on a mist setting would be way better. Then you would just mist it and then just sprinkle it. That's what I would do, but this works. That works too. All right, we're doing good. We're gonna do another good layer going down the top here. So you wanna watch, you wanna watch and not spray too close to your sprayer because what happens is you get this thing wet and it kinda doesn't sift through, but even just throwing sun makes it look really cool. So we're just gonna go over and do it again. Like this is the second bag of the two pounds. So two pounds, this, this is 10 foot tall, right? 10 foot tall tree and that's pretty good, but we're gonna go over and do more. All right, I've almost used up my whole four pounds on my tree and there's a lot of snow. Love it, love it, love it. I will leave this in the garage tonight here. It's heated in here, it'll stay warm, and it'll dry, and then we'll put it up the next day. It says let it dry for 24, 48 hours. Jane is still spraying the tree over there. All right, we used there was four pounds. I would say I left about a third of this bag in there. So almost three and a half pounds, is that about right? Yeah, that's, I'm gonna say like a th four pounds minus this third of a bag. I could put more in there, but I feel like that's good. I'm gonna save this just in case I get it. We have to carry this from down here all the way upstairs, you know, walk up the mountain to get it up to the house. And so just in case we have issues. So let me go show you the tree. This is what it does to the garage floor. <laughs> what is it like glue? Yeah, pretty much that's all it feels like. I feel like a paste. Like, yeah, pasty Mod Podge maybe. Yeah, we'll have to clean this off later. Yeah, it's kind of, it It'll comes be great. off really easily. It does, so this is it. This is the top of our tree in the bucket. Let's do a little montage of the Christmas tree. I mean, I can talk, right? What's the montage? You don't know what a montage is? No. What is it? It's like a 30 second, maybe 10 to 30 second um, little clip of you showing the Christmas tree off in different angles, like with some hyped up happy music. Like you'll do one that's down and then you'll kind of go on over to the next one. Oh. Like oh, oh, da 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 da, oh, oh, da 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 da, oh, oh, da 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 da, making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you 
Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Alright, I got the guys coming. Ruby Rain in the house. And the guys are bringing in the Christmas tree. Freshly cut from the... Snow forest. Yeah, we didn't pull it out of the <laughs> Look at that. It's a snow one. It's so pretty. Look at how cool. You did a beautiful job. That looks so awesome. Turning? All right, now. Go ahead and put your in there. Oh, is he going to film this? Ow! And then give me that tip, man. Oh, my feet hurt. Oh, it's so cool. My feet hurt. Dang, that thing is a million pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, not yet, Evan. Okay. We're gonna put the you top get on. Through. Can you see it, Shorty? There you go. See so if you can get away. Can you are in there. Can we stand it up now? Yep. We're in. And this thing is large. That flops everywhere. Oh, Yeah, but it might be poison. Don't touch it. It's kind of good. Can you, have, can you lift it and slide yeah, it? Yeah, I can lift or scratch um, it. Ready? Oh, the whole thing. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, oh, the whole thing's off. Good. Your fingers out there? Yep. Oh, that's not in. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at the Christmas tree. Ah, oh, hey. Just wiggle it out. Almost. There you go. Right there, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's much better. There, boom. That's perfect. Okay. And then, the, yeah, pull the ones on the uh, yeah, the other side too, the right side. Like all this. Like yeah, action. there you go. Nice. Yeah, move your chair over on that other side. You'll see when you get back here what it needs. I'll have to put some more. Yeah. How <laughs> to do uh, is there like a creamer for this? Alright, the gentlemen are here. Brooklyn's wrapping presents, and Jaden's sitting downstairs. I'm like, Jaden, you gotta come finish your tree. You brought it to completion with the flock. Now, this flock did not come off very much when we brought it in the house. The little bit that shook off, we were downstairs. We probably, what I would have done, but I wanna get my tree up, I would have taken the hose and a mist and misted the whole tree and then let it set again. But it's pretty good. It was just where we like clumped it on that part like if you lift it obviously it didn't get wet underneath so it did not even really get on the floor i just did a little vacuum and it was really tiny just like this much in the bottom of my stick vacuum so we're gonna put the lights on and then go from there all right so we got our lights here we figured we have nine strands of lights so we store them in grocery bags do you guys do that with your lights when like my dad would always take our lights and tie them up in plastic grocery bags and then store them that's just how we did it so as long as we got a few here that work we're gonna start lighting Tangle lights. The bag doesn't work. It's still tangly. I don't know about the method, Dad. It didn't work that very well. It's okay. We're almost there. It's probably better to wrap them around something. Just so it'll be all good. Just, just shake them. and they're roasting marshmallows, having fun, and I am detangling lights. Ugh, 
who likes does what, what is your method for detangling lines mine is just shaking pretty much do you follow the whole line make sure you get it real good or you just shake it like right there is like a knot how do you get a knot on the lights <sighs> which way is faster to go i guess the other way i don't even know how you get a knot in the lights but we're getting it here so we're getting the tree this looks good I, you know usually i go over every branch one year i think i was had a baby i think it was maybe jensen probably pregnant with jensen ready to have him and Greg did the lights one year, and I was like, and, and you know, guys are just ladies, and he just kind of threw them on there, and I was like, that's not how you do this. Like, I would wrap each branch, and then, like, that Christmas, like, it really, it, like, it looked, the lights looked just fine on the tree. <laughs> so, I've learned it doesn't really matter if it's not perfection wrapped around, because when it's lit up, you see it, it's beautiful. Like, right now, you can tell the lights are just sitting on there, so this is good. We'll get this and then when the guys come home tonight, we'll finish up and do the ornaments on the tree. So, all right, the lights are a long time. Sleep. 